This is Andy Paul of Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in Manchester and I'm done. Joined by Anise Taj. Anise, firstly, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And yourself? I'm all good, I'm all good. We've obviously just had the first lots of a quarter-finals draw. Are you happy with your opponent for Saturday night? I'm more than happy. Uh, like like I've, I've said before, I would have fought anyone in this competition and if they want to go back and redraw the draw, I don't mind. I don't mind being matched up against any of these boys. The reason I entered in there in this tournament is to test myself and when I found out everyone else, perfect, let's go. Ricky Reeves, obviously the man who's been drawn against yourself, what do you know about Ricky? I know a bit, I've seen a bit, I've, I've watched a few fights but I've left that, all that to my coaches. Um, this is more Olympic style boxing, more amateur style boxing so there's not really much that you could do watching someone over fours rounds or six rounds, whatever it is, you can't really take them apart. So you're going to have to go in there, Olympic style, just go for it. So it's, it's less about what you've seen and more about what you see in those first minute to two minutes of that first round, win that round, but also see what, what he's doing. I was about to say, Anise, because of the you know, three three-minute rounds, do you have to be aggressive from the get-go and do you have to kind of make your statement early on in each fight? I believe so. I believe it's that first round that you have to win. It's just Olympic style boxing is always, once you win that first round, you're more likely to win the second. That's what Olympic boxing is all about. It's if you lose that first round, you've got a much harder test winning the second and the third. If you enforce in, them, in your, the judge's mind that you've won the first, they'll look favourably to you for the second. How much do you think that, that kind of style then, of being aggressive and out of the blocks will favour you on Saturday night? I think it will favour me quite, quite highly. It, it all depends on how my opponent reacts. Uh, Ricky, if I, if I get through Ricky, I'm not looking past anyone. If I get through there, semi, whatever it is, whoever I have, to, who else I have to fight on, including Ricky, it's how they react to how I come out. It's, they can react in kind, start throwing, and then we're going to have an old Mexican style shootout where it will be mano a mano, hand to hand, hombre to hombre, man to man, we're going to have a shootout. And he's provided your successful in your first fight and you're progressing through the rounds. When you look at the rest of the guys involved in the tournament, who do you think would give you your toughest night's work on Saturday night? All of the boys give me a tough test in, the, in their own mind. In their own life, everyone will give me a tough test. I'm not going to single someone out and say, this will be a hard one, this will be, oh, I'll prefer him. I'm ready to fight anyone, I'm ready to fight everyone. So whoever it is that I'm drawn against, if I get through the first one, when I get through the first one, inshallah, God willing, it will be all on whoever it is. We're going to go in just like the quarterfinal, take it off the first minute of that semi-final, first round, win it, start seeing what I'm doing. It was mentioned earlier about your past sparring experiences with Joe Joyce. I'm sure you're probably maybe a little bit fed up of talking about that now. But can you just reflect on that for me? I, it was perfect sparring. It was. I was there to uh, mimic um, Carlos Takam. Um, and it was, I was called in because I've got a similar stature to Takam. The only issue is I'm normally walking around at 96, 97 kilos, much like Takam. When I went in for sparring, I'd just come off a fight in Serbia. I'd also come off, come off COVID, so I was only 92 kilos. But I've stood there, I've given it with the Olympic silver medalist. We all know he's a gold medalist, he's the Olympic champ. But I've stood there with the guy who's been there and done it. And I showed I'm deserving of that being in there and being called back and having it actually being called back for that camp is more, more, more than happy and it's, it's going to work out well for me I believe. And he's provided you're successful on Saturday night and you win the tournament. How life changing of a, a moment can that be for yourself? It's a Sky Sports contract, that that's, uh, is the main thing, the boxer contract. Having that promotional back, backing is a very big thing for a lot of boxers including myself. So it's it will be, it'll be brilliant. I'm not so worried about the money, it's more about I want that contract. When I get it, then there's not an issue for anything else and I know I'm going to be supported on shows. I don't have to worry about anything else. It's all on, 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 on the back of my promotional company. All right, Anise, we'll leave that there then. Leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck on Saturday. Cheers, thank you. Have a good one.